evening, Lisa. Good evening, Andrew. Well, after a very long gap. Yes, and I'm, I'm finding it again. And because we lost it for a little yes. while, but we found it again. Yes. We return to series three of, of Are You Are Being, Being Served? served? Mm. With the second episode, mm -hmm. which is called Coffee Morning. Yes. From, and he says, looking at his notes, the 6th of March, 1975. Okay. Now, on the Are You Being Served front, mm -hmm. a little bit of minor excitement in the last few days. Yes. As a... Uh, some footage of John Inman. Yes, touring Debenhams. Debenhams in Southampton mm -hmm. in 1975. Mm. So, Overlaid by the song that he did. So Are you being ara served, around, sir? around this time, actually. Yes. Um, has, has come to light in the BBC South archives. Yes. And yes, it's it's, a, it's sort of a, like, like a pop video, isn't it? Yes. He's sort of wandering yes. about the store. Touching things. Investigating Y fronts and mm. things like that, and looking and, in his drawers. And looking in, a, I think, a till that must have dug out of an archive yeah. somewhere. Yeah. I can't believe really, that was still really in old till. It's got a handle on the side. Yeah, it's a crank thing. Yeah. Yeah. But it's really nice to see that. Yeah. So it's. Uh, I'd never seen it before. Well, no. I don't remember seeing it before. I you might have seen, seen it, it on, on, the, on the original no. transmission. But, yeah, nice mm -hmm. little Are You Being Served Extra? Yes. Out of the vaults. So we open. There's actually mm -hmm. a few customers. Yeah. Yeah, Mr. Mr. <coughs> Lucas has got a customer, which is unheard of. Mm. It might get some commission. Uh, Miss Brahms is measuring Mrs. Slocum. Yes. Um, round the waist, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. In, um, in, and apparently um, it, it sounds bigger in metric because yes. she, she measures 77 centipedes, mm. <laughs> apparently. Centipedes, yes. Centipedes. And she's put on four more centipedes yes. since the last since time. Since the last time, yeah. This is um, all, all down to the, the sugar shortage, apparently, isn't it? Mm -hmm. She's been stockpiling it. And if she doesn't eat some of it, it's never, she's never going to get rid of it. Yeah. But so. what colour did we say decide it was? I'm not exactly sure. It's sort of sort of a reddy pink colour. We put salmon stroke russet. Yes. Which is quite quite a weird one. Or possibly lobster. Hmm. Maybe. Uh, what is it, Missy? Uh, Miss Brahms has been saying about her technique for getting a free meal. Getting a free meal mm -hmm. off of off of gentlemen. Yes. She wears a low cut top, a yeah. low cut dress. They get a look. She gets a meal. Yeah, but that's all they get. That's all they get. Yeah. Wasn't it about like pull the handle on the fruit machine and mm. they hope they'll get the they're jackpot? They're going to get the jackpot. Mm. Uh, Mr. Lucas has, has uh, um, been out in his car with a girl. Yeah, well, not in his car. He well, borrowed a car. He borrowed a car. He borrowed a car and he paid seven pounds for the meal. Yeah. Um, but his his date on the way home got a front door key out and had a hand on, she the, was, on the door She was she was ready handle. to go, wasn't she? Yeah. So he's taken the door handle off the inside of the car. Yeah. So I don't know if the owner of the car is going to be impressed with that. No. Uh, Mr. Granger's at his tea break. He is. And Captain Peacock uh, wants to see him. Mm hmm. And he comes back at 11.10. Yes. And gets told his entitlement is only 15 minutes. 15 minutes. And he's actually yes. had 20. 20. So, how mm -hmm. can he explain this? Yes. And the answer is he's been to the little boys', little room, boys room for yes. five minutes. And there was a queue. Apparently, there was a, there was a queue. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, Captain Peacock has to report this to Mr. Rumbold. Yes. Um, Mr. Granger thinks he's being a sneak mm -hmm. by doing this. But Captain Peacock says, unfortunately, he has to wear two hats in mm -hmm. a situation like this. And uh, Mr. Granger says it's easy because he's got two faces. Yes. yes. Uh, that that's that is a similar exchange in uh, in Yes Minister mm -hmm. uh, about uh, Sir, Sir Humphrey or something having wearing wearing hats and things mm -hmm. like this. But, um, was yeah. well, that the one about metaphorical hats? I can't. I can't remember. I need to look it up. I seem to remember something, something like that. Something like that. Mm. Uh, but Mr. You know, this is a bit of a shock for Mr. Granger. Mr. Granger, yes, so, to sit, have a sit so, down and a glass of water. So yes, we get the glass of water. Mm. For but not Mr. too much for Mr. Granger. Um, coming up to lunch time mm -hmm. uh, now, and there's an announcement from Captain Peacock. Yes. He wants to see them all by the centre stand. Yes. Uh, now, this doesn't go down too well because mm. it starts to eat into their lunchtime. Into their lunchtime, yes. Um, yes. Mr. Granger is worried that Mr. Herbert of Hardware might pinch his seat. Yes. <laughs> In whatever way. In I, whatever way that is, that yes. Is meant to be. Mm. 
But the memo, nobody understands it. Cause no, because it's, it's all initials. It's all done in initials. Mm. Now, so that eats into their lunch break even further, why Captain Peacock has to explain what the initials are. Because the initials is meant to save time, but yes, he has to explain it all, all the time. Um, I don't know how many BBC memos people sort of have ever read, but mm. BBC sort of department heads... Mm. are all in memos and in in shorthand okay. like, like they say dg is director general yes. but they get really complicated with like mm. sort of heads of various departments or, mm -hmm. or the initials so it could be a little dig at little bbc dig at memos, memos yes. Yeah. yes but uh miss miss brahm says pco yes please carry on please carry on yeah so uh, Captain Peacock starts to read out the the actual bit the bit of the memo mm -hmm. i see you are <laughs> and they think this is more initials. More initials, yeah, yeah. This does remind me of the um, there's a there's a two Ronnie sketch about how to speak Swedish. All oh, right, okay. F U N E X. Hmm. <laughs> Have you any eggs? Oh right. F U N E X. Okay. S hmm. I F X, <laughs> and so on. Okay. Uh, um, but yeah, they. Um, they lay down the law about this 15 minutes. Yeah. So basically what they say to me is when they go for their tea breaks, mm -hmm. their lunch breaks, yeah. and their afternoon tea breaks, well, as you said, 11s is. I've never called it called 11s is yeah. in the morning. It's always a morning tea break, lunch break, afternoon tea yes, break. Yes, the times are to be entered into, into, into the, the ELTB book. Yes. 11s, 11s is lunch, lunch tea, tea break breaks, book. Yeah. And also when you go to the little boys or the little girls' room. There'll be a separate book, a yes. separate book for toilet for breaks. Toilet breaks. Not the WC the book. The WC book. Yeah. Uh, but nobody likes the idea of no. this. And Mr Granger says it's intolerable. Mm -hmm. uh, Miss Brahms uh, says it's real 1984. Big Brother is watching it. Big Brother stuff. So we then cut to them at lunch. Mm -hmm. And uh, who's got cock Mr Humphreys. Who's got dumplings? Miss Brahms. <laughs> who's got a grapefruit cocktail? Mr. Slocum. No cherry. No cherry, yeah. <laughs> and who's got an open sandwich? Mr. Granger. It wasn't an open no, sandwich when it started it off. off. The top yeah. bit fell off. It looks really, really horrible. So it's that it's sort of just meat, white isn't it? bread and ham. Yeah. That sort of square ham that you know. You didn't fancy that. Process, eh? no. And uh, Mr. Lucas has got a seafood salad. A seafood salad, yeah. Dangerous thing to have in the Grace Brothers canteen. Yeah, with a couple of mussels and a was it a shrimp? Shrimp without prawn. A prawn. Mm. Um, uh, and what's this about Miss Brahms always carries a tin opener? Oh, when she goes out on dates with people. Yeah. And Miss, Mrs. Slocum said that must take a long while thinking that she means she's going to cut her way out of the car. And she's no, like, no, just jabs she does She jabs, them, jabs their hands with it. Yeah. But they're all going for united we stand, divided we fall, basically, yes. aren't Until they? Until they get back. Well, yes, they, they all say that Mr. Granger... Mm should be the first one to protest, is mm -hmm. he's like the senior, yes. but they'll back him up. Yes. Um, but that doesn't really prove to be up, to be no. the case, does no. it? Because you don't like this sort of... It, this one's actually, it's not as bad as I thought. It's not quite, it's the, it's the one, I think, I, the one I was thinking of is the one where he steps up to do Mr. Um, Rumbold's mm. job. But you never like it when Mr. Granger gets in trouble, though, are no. you? No, no, because he always does things for the best, yeah. Mr. Granger. He's, you know, he's possibly the most loyal person that works at Grace Brothers. Yeah, but Mr. Granger comes back, and it's mm. 1403. Mm -hmm. He's asked to sign the book by Captain Peacock, and he refuses. Mm -hmm. uh, Captain Peacock says, I will ask you again. Mm -hmm. uh, it is now 1404. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, will you sign the book? And he refuses again. Yes. So this immediately gets reported to Mr. Rumbold. Um, Mr. Granger saying, "Well, everybody else has refused to sign." And he says, "I only asked you." And you were the only, but you were the only one asked. Mm. So yeah, that's a, that's not very fair. No. Mr. Granger is sent for mm -hmm. to the office, and Miss Ainsworth is told to take everything down. Yes. So th this leads to one of those sort much of much confusion. Yeah. Yes. Um, so um, as the as the conversation sort of goes mm. so she, she includes knock 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 on the yeah, door yeah yeah take this down uh, Miss take everything Ainsworth. down no, Miss, Miss take Ainsworth everything I've down. taken everything, everything down. down yeah but Mr Granger is referred to as a, as a rotten apple mm. yeah he's never been a rotten apple before but he is Until today. today yeah then Mr Mash comes in with a with a cup of <laughs> tea or coffee, tea or coffee mm. and is told to put it down 
But Miss Ainsworth says, should she, should she put that down? And he says, no, that. don't put it down. So he so, picks so it up again. It up again. So there's lots of, lots of sort of physical comedy as yeah, well yeah. in this one. In the end, Mr Mash told, tells him to stick it up. Yes. Miss Ainsworth is told not to put that down either. Mm-hmm. But Mr Granger is fined. Yes. Twice. Twice. 50p. He's fined 25p for lateness mm-hmm. and 25p for refusing... To sign the book. To sign the book. Now, given mm-hmm. the, like, the paltry sta- state of their wages... Yes. That's probably quite a lot. That's quite a lot. It doesn't sound a lot these days. No. Um, but they say that the matter is closed. Mm-hmm. Um, Mr Granger isn't really sure it is. But, no. Uh, but Mr Mash convenes an, as an emergency meeting because mm-hmm. he's the, uh, he's the un- shop union... Shop steward. Mm. Yeah, he stands on a, what is it, a sort of poof or something, yeah, isn't something he? Like that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah, so he makes himself a bit taller. Um, uh, Mr Humphreys likes the idea of being a brother, um, so it's all, you know, mm. very friendly in, in the union. Um, and uh, Mr Mash says he's going to remove the stigmata attached to Brother Granger. Mm. Um, that's a bit, it sounds just like the exorcist, yes. says Mrs Slocum. Mm-hmm. So there we go. Um, and it's all to do with the travelling time yes. to it's, the tea it's, break, it's isn't it? When should the tea break start? Yeah, it's a should pop- it start when you leave the shop floor? Yeah. Or should it start when you get to the canteen? Yeah. With the cu- when, when you pick the, your cup of tea or coffee up? Yeah. Now, I work in retail. Yeah. And I start my tea break mm. when I get into the warehouse. Right. Because when you're going through the shop... You might get stopped by a customer and asked a question, mm. which would obviously eat into your tea break time. Yeah. So I always look at the clocking in clock as I go through the warehouse to see what time that is. And sometimes, I must admit, we, we usually allow people, we, we get a 15 minutes tea break. Yeah. We usually allow people an extra five minutes for travelling time. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm visiting the bathroom and things. <laughs> So it yeah, gets to 25, the, then it's a bit of The a motion they want to put is that tea break should start when you sit down and dip your biscuit. Yes. I don't know what happens if you don't have a biscuit. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, they, they, they want to put a motion on the table. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mrs Slocum isn't too sure about that phraseology. No. Uh, Captain Peacock doesn't agree with this. Yes. But as he's left his union card at home... But he's not allowed to vote. He's out of order anyway. Mm-hmm. Um... Apparently, this all stems back to agreement from 1928. 1928, yes, yeah, so nearly, nearly 50 years before. Yeah, uh, but Mr Rumbold won't concede and is therefore told to get stuffed. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't put that down, Miss Ainsworth. Mm-hmm. Um, so, um, with the three minutes left in the yes. working day... They've told, they're told to go on a go slow. Mr Mash orders a go slow. And then they, when the bell goes, they go home. Mr Granger gets shut out of both lifts. Well, I'm just, I just wanted to say that Mrs Slocum isn't keen on going slow. No, because she wants to get she a bus. To, she wants to get the bus to go home to see her pussy, I, mm. I presume. And she's covering over her undies. Mm. And she doesn't want them to get smutty. Yeah, yeah. she doesn't want smutty undies. Um, mm. uh, so, yeah, Mr Granger... He goes to one lift and mm. the door shuts, then Definitely. he goes to the other lift and the door shuts, then the camera pulls back and he's this lone figure. Yes. I expected the the audience to go R at that yes. point, but they didn't, yes. they didn't quite no. pick up so on it. They didn't quite get it, I don't think. Um, mm. So we now, now go, we're back in the canteen the next day, and that mm. canteen set is really cramped, it isn't is. it? It is, it gets bigger as time goes on. Yeah, but there's walls mm. everywhere, there's like yes. bit, bits of wall yeah. and, and stuff. And then it'll, again, it'll change. Uh, possibly in the next episode. Hmm. Hmm. I can't remember. But yeah, um, Mr. Mash has got an apple crumble, and he's certainly not not going slow on the, no, on the apple, cr- he's, he's, apple crumble. He's cramming it all in. But they sort of talk about the ways in which people have gone slow today. Mm-hmm. Mr. Uh, Humphreys has spent ten minutes doing an inside leg for a gentleman. And he only came in for some gloves. And he came in for some gloves. Um, uh, Miss Brahms had a Russian lady athlete and she mm. was fitting her for a bra. And it took so long she gave her a dress in Vladivostok. <laughs> uh, Mr Mash comes up with the idea of bunging up the loos with plaster of Paris, yes. which sounds a little extreme. Yeah, a bit, little counterintuitive, I yeah. think. And, and Mr Granger says this smacks of reds under the bed. Mm. Uh, Mrs Slocum says there are no reds under her bed and there are none under Mr Humphreys either. He checks. Although he checks every night. Yeah. Um, cut back to the sh- the the, the, uh, the department, and yes. it's two o four, 
and uh, Captain Peacock and Mr. Rumbold are having a discussion about is this what we fought for at Dunkirk? Mm-hmm. And there's some confusion. As to if, if anybody, if anybody it. actually in the store did. Now, I would say that Mr. Rumbold is far too young to have fought in the Second World War at all. Yeah. Unless he's playing older than himself. Well, we, we, didn't we, we, we determine did he, was, he was 50 or something? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Although you've said, because we, we've talked about this, and you yeah. said Nicholas Smith is late 30s, isn't he? Or something. 1934? Yeah. So, same, he, he, same age as Tom Baker? Yeah, okay. But, yeah. So, um, but, yeah, Mr. Mr. Rumbold is established as being, yeah, being a, lot, a, lot, a lot older than he, you know, than the actor is. Um, but, yeah. Um, so yeah, um, Mr. Rumbold uh, claims he's like a wild animal when he's roused, yes. yeah. which I don't quite believe. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, young Mr. Grace appears, mm-hmm. and he says, in his case, his tea break does start when his tea is yeah. he's handed to them. Yeah. And like well, he has a tea break. Yeah, <laughs> I think he's all, all working days. He's a tea, a tea break. break yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, he says what's good enough for him is good enough for them. Good enough for them. So and out comes the tea trolley. So he calls for Goddard. Yes, he's the chauffeur. Yeah, um, the Goddard doesn't get a lot to do. No, but it doesn't. Mama. But Goddard w- wheels on a tea urn, um, mm-hmm. and so yeah, they won't have to leave the department at all. No. And yeah, they've got a tea urn and some mm. some paper cups. Yes. And. Captain Rumbold. Uh, Captain Rumbold. Captain Rumbold. <laughs> Captain Peacock. Yes. I don't know, they might have, like, fused. Yes. Uh, Captain Peacock blows a raspberry to Mr Mash. He does. And that's the end of the episode. And mm-hmm. Mr Mash looks a bit perturbed. That he does. But all, he's all his activities sort of hasn't really improved the situation no. at all. It's made it worse. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I, I quite enjoyed. I quite enjoyed that, isn't it? Yeah. I, I always quite like ones when the, when the focus is is Mr. a is, is, is a bit on on Mr. Granger. Yes. But you said you, you can sort of detect a sort of slight um, anti-union. Yes. Sort of feeling yes. to this, do you? Yes. That, that um, you think perhaps the writers have a slight agenda. A, a, a slight thing mm. where, where where in their opinion yeah. the union. Causes more trouble. Causes more trouble than yeah. it than it actually solves. Um, Which in some cases, it, in the seventies especially, there was a lot of strikes. In I mean, the 70s. It's, it's interesting at, at at the BBC, um, there is this whole thing about who does what. Who does what? If you yes. moved a chair, mm. um, as an actor, mm. it wasn't your job to move the chair unless it was part of the story. Yes. If you just wanted to move the chair to rearrange things. Mm-hmm. There's a man whose job it was, and they mm. they, uh, they they'd say, you know, no no that that's my job. To, mm. And if you if you in, if you pushed your luck, mm. um, that could be the end of the oh, recording. Oh yes, that would be yeah. it. They got on strike. Yeah. So, and what, what's the one that Co- Colin Baker says about uh, uh, the video camera mm. um, on um, Mind Warp mm. when they're on the beach? Mm-hmm. Um, because they were using video cameras, mm. there was a bloke whose job it was to turn the camera on first thing in the morning and turn it off last thing at night, and that was his okay. job. Right. So he'd, he'd turn it on, then mm-hmm. sit there for the rest of the day. And then turn it off again. And then turn it off at night. So so some of this stuff does sound a bit a bit strange now when, when we talk about mm-hmm. it. But, um, yeah, and I suppose... I'm thinking now of the film Carry On at Your Convenience as well, because yes. that, that's got a lot of that's sort of true. everybody yes. out stuff, hasn't yes. it? But you'd get this in sort of the rag trade, mm-hmm. wouldn't you? There's yep. a, there's hey, the, everybody out. There's a continual cry. And, Mama. And, you know, there are other comedy films at the time mm-hmm. that sort of, sort of deal with this. So. Yeah. Our pussy's come to help as uh, well. Yes, I know, she's, she's been around. around. <laughs> at least people get to see the cat on this Yes. One. Game but but yeah, I I quite I quite enjoyed that one. Do you want to score it out of? Oh, I think it's a seven. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it a, a seven. I um, think. Um, in a few weeks' time, I w- there is one coming up that I would say is probably um mm-hmm. higher than that. Okay. But well, what's so, the next one? The next one is up Captain Peacock. Captain oh. Peacock has been at Grace Brothers for twenty years and has rewarded rewarded with the key to the executive toilet. Key to the executive washroom. Yes. The key to the executive washroom. 
that's my uh, Mr. That's Granger, Mr. Granger impression. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.